The next method of manipulation is the technique known as divide and conquer. So I have here uh, an image of Caesar who used this in the Roman Empire to conquer lands that he absorbed in, into the Roman Empire. For example, when uh, Caesar was attempting to conquer Gaul, he would have uh, uh, sub-regiments of his, of his uh, army uh, attack certain towns uh, in, in the region Gaul, which we now call France, to uh, create conflicts between uh, neighboring tribes. He would blame it on, have them blame it on another tribe, and then he would watch the chaos ensue and watch them fight amongst each other. While he was sitting back, his armies were, had lots of rations, lots of supplies, were well rested. When all the, the fighting was done and their forces were weakened, he would send his legions in and annihilate the enemy with minimal losses. The divide and conquer strategy. Get people fighting amongst themselves so they do not have any reserves or strength for fighting the real enemy that's keeping them all down. And they divide us on whatever principles they can, whatever ways we can possibly see ourselves as separate. They d use the divide and conquer through sex, male and female, through uh, race, any, any differences in race, region of the world, ethnicity, through age, young and old, through religion, I'm Christian, I'm Islamic, I'm Jewish, through class, the rich and the poor, through politics, Republican versus Democrat, conservative versus uh, labor. Um, you look at um, nationality, the United States versus Mexico, Canada versus the United States, France versus England. You know, any ways that you can get people to see themselves as separate, you're reinforcing this method of manipulation and mind control because people are easier to control and dominate if they are warring amongst each other.